Alright. Some people on the Feral Discord uh, asked me to put together a video on some comments on some tips uh, on how to play Feral at a higher level. I don't know if I can give them that, but I'll certainly try my best. So I made a quick video, it's my first attempt. Um, I just flasked, suited it up. Um, I put on legendary belt and braces. The reason for that is because I was doing a single target video um, with no legendaries that affect the rotation. So no gloves, no uh, boots, no ring. Those are the ones that affect single target rotation. Um, this is actually just my first attempt. I just grabbed whatever attempt I could get. You can see up there, I just flasked and ruined f fresh 60 minutes. I was meant to bloodlust at the start, but I completely forgot. Uh, so I actually end up lusting my second berserk. Now the sims for this, um, I believe 1.2 million, but uh, I do so much DPS that it goes under 90%. So the sim ends up, uh, when you resubmit with the right settings, it's uh, 1.05 million DPS. So that's the benchmark, and then plus or minus. 20k or so is what I'm aiming for. So um, I guess we'll start. You start with standard opener, which is uh, your regrowth of the bat. Then this is more. This video is more aimed at the intermediate level, by the way. So you should have a reasonable grasp of feral. Um, so you open with, and you'll see me do it. You break, uh, savage raw. Uh, and then Berserk and TF go on CD, and then you pop Ashermane's Frenzy. Which, here we go. So that gets your max AF up as soon as possible. Um, then your next ability, if you have the four set, will be Thrash. Uh, and then you want to get to five combo points, and then you want to hard cast uh, Regrowth, and then cast Rip. And then with a second charge of BT on that, you, you want to get a Shadow Meld rake in under Pandemic. So there you go. So that's a crit. If it wasn't a crit, I would have shredded. Um, here's the hard cast. You can use Dash, which is up here, to get back into cat form without triggering GCD. Um, I believe I got a one combo point Savage Raw. As you can see, it's quite tight because you need to get this Shadow Meld rake in before the Savage Raw falls off. So there you go. It's there. And what I do next is um, I shred to 5 CP and then cast Savage Raw. Now, you shouldn't be worried too much about shredding outside of Savage Raw in the opener. Well, that's my opinion anyway. So that's what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to uh, keep up, basically keep everything up. So a couple of points about the opener. You want to make sure you cast Thrash twice. You want to have two rakes, uh, one being melded if you're Night Elf. And you also want that second rake to tick off fully because it's ticking for double damage. So you want it to drop off completely before you refresh it. So here we go. This is uh, Shred to 5 CP, the Savage Raw, there's the Thrash. Um, and then actually I over Shred by one. That doesn't really matter. And the reason why is because if you look at the Rip Timer, I'm actually going to refresh on Pandemic. Um, and you can tell I've got five combo points, so um, the order I will refresh here is rip then rake. So there's a slight, slight delay, waiting for it to tick off, and then bam, hit it. Now another thing uh, as well, my next tip I guess, is that if you, if you have the force set, which I'm assuming you do for, from tier 19, when you're under 30 energy and your uh, next cast will be shred or thrash, when you're under 30 energy, you want to spam Thrash, so that if you get clear casting, it procs instantly. So, there's Thrash there. Oh, and another thing, I, I basically I, I made a weak aura which um, makes Thrash turn green, as, as you can see down, down there. It turns green if um, you've got clear casting and it's, uh, you're under Pandemic or you don't have Thrash. So that's, that's easy, it tells you to, to match the Thrash button. Um, takes a bit of the decision making out for you when you're doing single target. So, um, here you have a choice, you can, I've got five combo points again, so you can either choose to pull and then rip, or you can choose to um, refresh Savage Raw early, 
and then build CP again for rip. Um, because I got low energy here, I'd recommend going for the rip, um, and then basically after you uh, get the rip off, you should put big pull quite high, uh, and also rake will need a refresh in a six second period when you when you get up to the uh, pull cap. And then your TF should come off and you should be able to spam abilities and then refresh so draw. So that should be pretty easy. So and also I got a clear casting here. Um, basically I just pull that. I pull I pull clear casting um, before rip. Um, I'm reasonably sure the sim tells you not to do that, but it gives you some more consistency in Ash means rip because you have extra ability to spam. I know, uh, <laughs> we're only about 30 seconds in and there's already a lot of information. So there's the rip, um, there's the rake, proxy Asher means rip, uh, there's the thrash straight after, um, and then I'm going to cast straight obviously, and then I'm going to go back up to max SR. Okay, and uh, another thing here is um, you need to track Asher means rip. It's really important in your refresh decision making because if you're if you if you already have Asher means rip, then you're more willing to refresh rip at pandemic, which is four seconds, rather than refreshing it early, because you've already got it triggered. Okay, and see here, I'm pulling because um, I know my next. Uh, I, I already have Ash Means Rip, so there's no there's no point spamming abilities to proc Ash Means Rip again. I've already got it, and um, what's I going to say? And the and by the time I cap energy, I'll need to refresh rake. So obviously my next ability here should be rake, which is there, refreshed. Um, and then I pause a bit to think, um, but really I should just cast Shred straight away to get that Shred inside the Tiger's Fury window. And then after here, it's pretty obvious that the next finisher you're going to be casting will be Rip. So you regrowth it. And then this is just pulling up to max. It's good to have a pandemic tracker as well. So as soon as that turns green, uh, there's the rip. And then I shred straight away. And the reason I shred straight away is because if you look at this situation, my next cast won't be rake. And the reason why is, one, I have uh, a predatory swiftness buff, so I can, uh, I can get a BT up for the rake in time. And secondly, I just cast rip, so my next finisher is almost certainly going to be Savage Raw. So I shred straight away, it procs Ash means rip. Um, I actually have quite a bit of time. I can cast another shred and then a rake, uh, which is what I do. And then there's the BT. There you go. Then I just wait. I, I proc Ash means rip again. So here, um, I just wait for Savage Raw to hit Pandemic. So there we go, pandemic, there you go. Um, if you look at this, there's a about a five second gap between rake and rip. Uh, from what I can tell, there's, there's two ways you can handle this. You can either, I've got, I've got Ashramay's rip by the way. So you can pull up and um, wait for the rake and then spam some abilities down to get your five CP, which I'd probably recommend. Um, if you get a clear casting here, which you probably should over the 10 seconds, then you can spend the clear casting on the thrash, and then you should hopefully have a rake, uh, and a rip, a rake then a rip, uh, with the predatory swiftness, as opposed to refreshing the rake with the current charge, and then you casting predatory swiftness, so, uh, what do I opt to do? I opt to pull, uh, play it safe, uh. Okay, and uh, another thing you have to note as well is you need to um, you need to keep track of your Tiger's Fury and your Ash Mains Frenzy to figure out how aggressive you want to be, because if you have Tiger's Fury, you're obviously going to generate more common points. So over here, I'm going to get um, Savage Raw and Rip both at twenty seconds, and I can probably uh, first just buy after this as the next finisher but um but for this particular video i was playing safe and playing the fb build so uh what happens here obviously i'm gonna refresh rip um i'm gonna cast regrowth first i'm also gonna get tiger's fury on it so it's gonna be a fully buffed rip 
And here, um, yeah, I'm obviously going to cap energy, so I need to deplete my energy, and then I will definitely have that regrowth charge for the next rig. Okay, so the decision here is whether to ferocious bite or not. Um, if you want to fresh spot, you need to do it quick here. And I don't have Ashmane's rip up at the moment. Um, Ashmane's bite, or whatever you want to call it. So I opt for a safety, a safety rip here. And I also pull as high as possible, um, having regard to the fact that I need to cast Rake within the Tiger's Fury timer as well. So there's the rip. There's the rake. It's, they're both buffed with uh, BT and TF. And then I uh, just go down again. So if you just saw that rip, uh, that thrash just there, that's because I was spamming X really, really, really hard. So it, it popped instantly as soon as I got the clear casting buff. And you can see how useful it is because as soon as I cast that thrash, I got another clear casting proc. If I didn't, um, if I wasn't spamming X, uh, my, my thrash has to say, then um, I would have actually lost the clear casting charge there, which would be handy. So uh, at this point as well, Ash means Frenzy is going to come off, so that means I need to get into action and cast a finisher to drop my combo points down. And before you cast a finisher, obviously you want to get rid of your uh, regrowth buff. So that's what I do, cast regrowth. I, pan I also pandemic um, that Savage Roar, as you can see. So my next ability is either Rake or Ashman's Frenzy. It doesn't really matter the order because I got three. I got three seconds to do both. And then back up to Cap. Um, I'm at five CP. Nothing's gonna happen. I basically just pull here. This is a pretty straightforward one. No decision making. Now you pull. You pull to Pandemic. Uh, what I do here is, you, um, when you pull, you pull to either Pandemic or Energy Cap, one or the other. So if I was at 95 energy now and Rip was at 6 seconds, I'd, I'd cast Rip. Um, as you can see now, I've, I've hit Pandemic, so there's no point pulling any further, because regardless of, if, if I pulled further, um, the Rip would still have the same extension, and I'd still fit the same amount of GCDs in straight after the Rip. So here's the rip, here's the instant, okay, and again, I've used the second uh, BT charge there because I'm reasonably confident um, that I can get, with all the energy I have, I'll be able to um, get the BT on the rake and potentially the next finisher. And the next finisher as well, I don't know, I now remember what happened. Uh, the next finisher as well can be SR because I've got Tiger's Fury coming off in five seconds. So I can be really aggressive with combo points here. Um, but I, I can't remember what I did, let's just see what I did. So I got, I got Ash Maid's rip, so that means um, when I hit the bottom of my bar, there's no huge requirement to refresh rip here. Um, actually, no, I think I do refresh rip here. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, no, I refresh rip here because I have um, TF, uh, TF Blood Talons, but... If I cast this, uh, if I cast Savage Raw, it wouldn't have made a huge difference because I would also have five com points up immediately, and that would have been before um, Ashamine's rip fell off. Uh, it's dumping energy. Okay, so uh, here I have the same decision making process. SR is obviously the next finisher here, and then I need to be wary that I cast uh, Rake within the Tiger's Fury timer. So I'm going to pull slightly and then cast. Keep going, keep going, and then cast uh, Savage Raw, and then cast Rake. It's still pl plenty of time. And then, you know, spam Thrash again in case I get clear casting. Nothing happens. So I've got 10 seconds on Ash Maze Rip. I can pull all the way up to um, Pandemic. So here's the Pandemic here. Um, I can obviously pull to for another four seconds to get to 80 energy, but like I said, it doesn't does not make a difference. It actually be bad here because I got cl clear casting proc, which I want to use, and I can't use clear casting proc until after cast rip because I've got my uh, blood talents buff. So here we go, cast that instantly. Um, seven seconds on rake, which is which means I can fit in a shred. There's the shred. So now, uh, in this situation, um, it's kind of like 
the second TF I did in that fight. So I would cast um, I would cast Rip and then Rake. Um, you can also cast Rake and then Rip here because the combo point's not super important, just to pull slightly higher. Yeah, but I cast I I go for the the normal the normal response. Um, Tiger's Fury is going to come off, and I'm just going to smash it. And then I missed the I missed the um, thrash there. So next two abilities, pretty obvious. I'm gonna refresh uh, rake with both buffs, and then followed by rip um, when pulling as high as possible. Um, I think I got a shred there that I didn't notice. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, sh sorry. Um, I have meld shadow meld coming off. So oh yeah, when I was looking at this, I had a meld coming off, so I needed to fit the meld inside the TF timer. So that's why I cast rip first after the shred, if that makes sense. I think I've jumbled this up now. I actually I actually failed that one as well. Uh, there's the instant proc, because I was spamming X. And um, I'm not 100% sure what I do next, but looking at this, Astral Means Rip is uh, 4.8 seconds. So I don't really need to cast um, any combo gens. Well, obviously I got five combo points. I'm going to cast the finisher next, um, which might be rip. It might be SR. Could be either. They're, they're both pretty safe at the moment. Um, I think rip is probably safe in this choice. Um, once you pull a bit higher, cast rip and then cast rake, um, because then you can spam all your abilities, and there's no real big difference because you still got five seconds on Ash Mains rip. See what I do. Oh yeah, I remember what happened here because I didn't lust, as I said at the beginning. I actually have to drag lust out of my bags. There's the rip. There's the rake straight after, and then you you spam down to zero. And your next finish is going to be yeah, savage draw. All right, so that's savage draw. Uh, now, after you cast savage draw here. This is probably going to be a really long video now. I think about it. After I cast savage draw here. I'm going to, uh, I can actually shred all the way down to the bottom because I have a charge and then I can use it on um, rake and uh, rip. But I've also got Ash Mains and Tiger's Fury here. So I actually need to go, I need to go, go, go. I need to go, go, go and uh, drop my energy here. Too much talking. Uh, so you can use Ash Mains Frenzy at three combo points or two combo points, e either or. Um, I actually use it before the Tiger's Fury. Now, I believe um, Tiger's Fury is per tick, and there's 15 ticks here, so it should still get most of it. And then my next ability here is going to be Rip. And then after that, I've got full boss on everything, so I can just shred, I shred all the way down and then hold the charge uh, for the rake. Okay, so here I have to make a decision. Um, like I said, I'm not running FB in this particular build. So I can actually cast either... Um, I think... Yeah, you can either cast Rip or Savage Raw here. Um, or you can either even go even safer and um, put, go over five common points and cast Rake here. Which is... I think that's what I do. No, I don't. I cast Savage Raw, which is safe as well. Um... Let's just play a bit more of this video. No, 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 no. Uh, there's my lust. Um, normally you don't control lust, your, guilt, your raid does, but I, the reason I lusted here is because um, I have lust throughout Berserk. I think I was a pot. Um, and Berserk lasts 15 seconds, so I mean, you gotta get the full duration. Um... I think this was a mistake. I should have actually held. Actually, let's just go back a bit. I'm pretty sure I should have um, used my. I should use my regrowth here and go and rake, then um, rip. So this is actually a mistake. Sorry, guys, not perfect. Um, yeah, obviously cast thrash here. 
I believe uh, you pull you pull slightly for Berserk because my Berserk and my TF are misaligned. So I think that's what I do. Also, um, during your Berserk, typically you don't want to cast Savage Raw, so you want to keep it refreshed. Or you want to you want let me let me position that another way. If possible, you want to have a 30 second Savage Raw going in because then you don't have to re refresh Savage Raw during your Berserk because that your Berserk increases damage by 15 percent, and that's for all your globals. Um, here I think I refresh Rip, and the reason why is because you also want to proc Ashmane's Rip within, um, within the timer. So, here we go. And also, uh, because I've got 5 seconds here, I'm almost certainly going to get to my next finisher and be able to cast Regrowth and refresh that inside the Berserk. Um, and here you just go to 5 and then you can refresh rip again. Uh, so that's going to be rip break. Uh, it's then thrash straight after and then 5 con points to the last couple of seconds and then I'll end up at 100 energy I think. And then here, because uh, I'm playing safe, I can do either finisher. I actually shred over once. So here now I'm forced to cast Rake and then buffer Rake. So I cast Rip and then uh, buffer Rake. And then the next Rake will, will be fine because I'll have to save a draw by then. Pretty sure. Yeah, I do. All right, and this is going to hit Pandemic, that's fine. I think, okay, I, let's just go back a bit. I'm pretty sure I screwed up here and I have to hard cast. Let's have a look. Alright. Why do I do this? Let's actually go back a bit further. No, that's what I have to. Rip. Oh yeah, so yeah, as I was saying, I did uh, extra shred there accidentally. So I should have cast Rip then Rake, and then everything would have been fine. But it's not it's not the end of the world because you can hard cast because you'll have a long Rip here. So that's a Rip. There's the Rake. Um, I'll have the charge for the Rake, which I do. Here we go. Okay, and I'm gonna have energy to, to cast um, Rip again. But the other thing here is because um, I won't have Blood Talons for Rip, I'm going to have to fix it by using a hard cast regrowth. So that's not really a problem. You can do that once every three minutes because you've got dash. So I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I do. That. Okay, so that's the, that's done. And then I'm, I'm back to my rotation again. I'm, I'm fixed. I fixed it, team. I fixed it. Sorry for being bad. Um, here I do a safety SR. Again, <laughs> the time is line up so you can do whatever the hell you want. Um, the reason I did an SR here is because I know I'm going to get my combo points back up from this Ashmane's Frenzy coming soon. So my rip's not going to have that many finishes being cast. It's either going to be one or two finisher casts. One's going to be rake. And then I'll shred. So there's not that many chances to proc Ashmane's rip. And then I just pull. There we go. Same, re same pooling reasoning here. So I hit 100 because I'm bad, but ideally what I want to do is I want to refresh rip as late as possible and then refresh the rake with the next. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. And then keep spamming while we have this buff up. And then I could cast SR. Um, and I'll still have enough time because I've got Tiger's Fury coming up to refresh the rip. But I'm a, I'm a fucking yell. I like casting. I like casting regrowth. That's just me. I, that's my play style. It's not sim correct, um, which I'm sure Guilty and Zan will be extremely upset that I'm not following the sims. Um, but I actually cast regrowth a lot um, when I'm not running boots because I, I just like yellowing. 
Um, okay, this is pretty obvious. I'm going to cast Rake here. And it's going to be fully buffed. And uh, this just gives you an idea of... I mean, you, you can see what I'm doing with Rip most of the time is refreshing at 4 seconds. Bang. And here I do the Yola, I'm going to have enough time to do cast the rake. This is the melded rake, so technically I meant to let it drop off as well. Uh, I don't know if I did. I'm pretty sure I didn't, because I'm bad. Um, this situation... I'm pretty sure the correct response here is to cast Rip, and the reason why is because it's it's just better. You're gonna have you're gonna cast back to back abilities here. Anyway, let's see what I do. I cast. Oh, okay, I'm. Eh, it's probably it's okay. It doesn't really matter. As you can see, I'm not I'm not really a high level feral. Um, I think the reason I did that decision back there was because it's hard to do this when I pause when I think about it too much. Because that's 15 seconds, that's 11 seconds. I don't know why I'm really justifying this, but that's going to be 4 seconds on Pandemic. And so when you refresh it on Pandemic, this is going to be a fully buffed rip. So you can either do you can either do the fully buffed rip, or you can, by casting Savage Raw first, or you can cast, you can pull up here, and then you have a 10 second rip, and then you cast that, and then you, you cast hit a couple of abilities. Eh, I, personally, I think they're similar. Yeah. You're not going to drop either of these two finishes, so you 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 Gucci. Uh, here's another place I could FB, but I think I play it safe and just cast Ripple SR. And I actually I actually cast no I cast Ferocious Bite and it didn't crit. It's a useless ability. This is why you don't cast Ferocious Bite. <sighs> and then oh, this is like the standard okay I'm pulling up to a four second like I've done this so many times you should get it and then that's that's there and then uh, rakes next that's pretty obvious and then I can refresh Savage Raw at any time now because under pandemic which I'm probably going to do and notice how okay before every Savage Raw obviously you cast the regrowth that's pretty obvious so I'm going to cast that I'm going to drop to zero energy I can cast Ashmane's Frenzy soon, and I have a charge uh, for both Rake and Rip. I'm probably going to refresh, be able to refresh Rip, Rip early. All right, here we go. It doesn't really matter which order I cast in. And then I, I cast early because I want to make sure my pool is close to empty when I Tiger Fury. So, so notice again, the, the pooling conditions for Rip are you're going to hit the max energy, it's going to hit 4 seconds, or... You need to cast something, so you either need to refresh Rake, or you need to cast Tiger's Fury. Or, or you need to cast Ash, I mean, something, you need to cast something else, so you need to stop pulling. So that's why I stopped early, here we go. Um, I can't remember what I did here. Again, you, same situation, you can cast SR or, or uh, Rip, I can't remember what I cast, probably SR. Actually, I just yellowed and didn't cast any finishes, because I'm a yellower. Oh wait, that's because it's the end of the video. Oh, GG. I went over five minutes. Where's the five minute mark? Uh, that's why, okay, yeah. That's why, I, okay. So when I when I was making this video, I was like, okay, I'll do five and a half minutes and I'll crop it at five minutes, but I went over. And the reason I said five minutes is because I didn't want to... What the sim does is it goes, ah, I've got 10 seconds left. I'm going to cast first by as my last finisher. Um... But then I just noticed, oh, I'm over the time, so I just stopped. So that's why it's late. And I think I got 1.11 million there. Sim is like 1.05, whatever. Close enough, I'm over it. Sometimes over, sometimes under. Most of the time I'm over, actually. But yellow! Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm not going to make this video any longer. It's already half a fucking hour.